The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a telephone call congratulating the KHK MMA team on qualifying for the semifinals of the Indian Open Mixed Martial Arts Championship. The championship is organized by the All India Mixed Martial Arts Association under the supervision of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation on January the 8th to 10th on the sideline of the Body Power Expo. His Highness Sheikh Khaled praised the performance levels of the fighters, lauding the training programs and all the preparations that the fighters went through. He praised the organizing committee and the fighters on making this achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain and said that this achievement will lead to make further accomplishments. He expressed delight regarding fighters' performance in the championship and wished them further success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the 42nd GCC Extraordinary Ministerial Meeting in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. The Council discussed the recent attacks on the Saudi missions in Iran and issued a statement in which it condemned such terrorist acts. The Council condemned Iran's interference in Saudi Arabia's domestic affairs through Iranian officials. The Council stressed that such interference contribute in destabilizing the region's security and stability and is considered to be a clear violation of the principles of good neighborliness. It also affirmed its supportive stance, Saudi Arabia and all measures regarding combating terrorism. The Council called on the international community to take the necessary procedures regarding stopping Iran's interference in other countries' internal affairs that aim to destabilize the region's security and stability. Despite the considerable pressures placed on Bahrain's economy throughout 2015 as a result of the sluggish global economic recovery, low oil prices and regional unrest, Bahrain's industrial sector managed to thrive and even develop strategically into new areas. Here's Daniela de Porto with the full report. The average contribution of the industrial sector to GCC economies stands at 10%. In Bahrain, manufacturing SMEs constitute the third largest contributor to the economy after hydrocarbons and financial services. The kingdom's industrial sector has traditionally been dominated by energy projects and upstream manufacturing activities, but the challenges posed by the remarkably low global oil prices seen for much of 2015 have been met by boosting diversification efforts. Major inroads have been made into high-value-added and energy-intensive industries, such as metals and petrochemicals, into support industries like just-in-time manufacturing and logistics, and into digital economy, resource-light and knowledge-intensive ICT initiatives. Such 2015 highlights include the upcoming Dragon City retail, wholesale and warehousing development, the international acclaim and uptake of Bahrain International Investment Park, BIIP, and the awarding of the UN International Telecommunication Union Prize for Sustainable Development in ICT to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The long-standing paragons of Bahrain's industrial sector have also had a banner year. In August, GPIC experienced its best-ever monthly production figure, achieved without any lost time accidents, and Alba's Line 6 expansion project, approved this year and expected to begin production in 2019, will position it as the largest single-site smelter in the world. The molten metal park, so the aluminium downstream cluster, I think that's been a theme of this year. And so we hope to do more transactions around that, around Alba Line 6. I think that we are uh, looking at the uh, Mondelez, which is the craft manufacturer, um, looking to expand and do a biscuits factory, which would be addition to the BWIP area. So I think that certainly is a piece of um, interesting news that will expand the manufacturing, the food manufacturing area. And thirdly, we're very optimistic about what is supportive of that, which is the logistics industry. And I know that you know, after our visit to Germany in, in April, we've seen a lot of interest from German logistics companies, one of which we hope to announce soon. And then China as well with the opening of Dragon City, I see the logistics industry around that. So that manufacturing and logistics is built around, I think, the food industry, the aluminum downstream, and then the logistics around Dragon City. The industrial sector has benefited from some notable legislative changes this year. The logistics industry has been opened up to allow for foreign ownership and access to the Ministry of Industry and Commerce's over 2,000 hectares of industrial land has been revamped. 
A lot of the lands were just uh, being uh, left idle. People will take the land and never invest. And at the same time, there's a long queue and a big demand for land. And you cannot attract uh, foreign direct investments if you do not have land. So that's why uh, there was more scrutiny on uh, this issue uh, to release the lands that are being just held uh, without return. In addition to taking great strides forward, 2015 has been a year for Bahrain's businesses to consolidate operations. The government has introduced a program of gas price increases for industrial operations and it is hoped that short-term cost increases will be offset by longer-term competitiveness. The best way to combat these increases and utilization of the resource that we have is by enhancing the efficiency of our operations in all industries, in all industries. And I believe there are ample opportunities for the uh, electricity generation, for example, sector, for the aluminium sector, for the steel sector, for the refinery, as well as the petrochemical area, for us to invest in uh, efficiency-driven uh, opportunities and therefore reduce our gas consumption by at least 10 to 15 percent over the next three years so that uh, we can overcome the increase in the gas prices. With the proliferation of manufacturing logistics businesses within Bahrain's industrial sector, export activities and foreign trade have become even more crucial. Bahrain's annual foreign trade to GDP ratio is one of the highest worldwide, with growth rates well above the global average. Major international exhibitions held in the Kingdom, such as the Gulf Industry Fair and Bahrain Export Trade Expansion Symposium, support global awareness of offerings, while the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, in partnership with the Economic Development Board, Tamkeen and Bahrain Development Bank, is embarking upon a major initiative to set up an export development centre to provide advisory services and financial assistance to boost exports from SMEs. In conclusion, despite challenges posed on an international and local level, Bahrain's industrial sector has worked harder and smarter in 2015, consolidating operations and leveraging and building upon existing infrastructures to ensure long-term sustainable development. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Daniel Deporto.